Well, hello everyone, it's Bless Bolt, and I'm here for another reaction. Yes, you can see I'm very excited. For this death battle, it's Archie Sonic versus The Flash. And Sonic the Hedgehog has always been one of my favorite on like, uh, uh, icon, iconic characters of all time ever since I've been a little kid. And um, learning that about the Sonic F comics was legit as frick. And I've always been excited to watch it. Oh, I'm gonna fix my bed. Space in here so I can have enough room to look at you guys. And you don't have to see the cut off of my head. Ah, um, okay, my friends are watching this fight as well. I put it in the chat asking them who they would think, Wally West or Sonic. They all voted against me, but they, they've more in the DC comics than the Archie comics anyway. And I've tried to warn them, I try to tell them that Sonic the Hedgehog and Archie comics is too dang OP. It's crazy how, how, how OP Sonic is. And basically what the Flash can do, Sonic is basically the same, but more OP. And that it's just all of the crazy feats he can do is just in his base form. Just his base form! And to stick with Super, it's added into that because Death Battle always puts the person that at their fullest potential when they're about to fight somebody. So I'm on YouTube right now, so you'll hear that. Um, they would I didn't turn it into an mp4 to react to it so whatever you can just hear it and i'll have a video i don't know right there so you can see it right there me reacting to it uh point blank and also before we get into this fight i want to apologize for my last video <laughs> for my last video beers versus sailor galaxia because at the end of it todoroki and uh todoroki shoto from my hero academia was supposed to fight uh zuko from uh avatar and i am so sorry for anyone who is a my hero fan and I'm, I'm sorry to myself. I am a fool. <laughs> Zuko ain't gonna win. <laughs> like I, he's not gonna win. No. I re. I, um, I know I said I watched all of Avatar, but I'm. In, I haven't seen it in years. And some reason in my head, I thought Zuko took on Aang when he was in the Avatar state, and he did a decent job. Not that he won, but he did a g decent job. But he didn't. Um, since Zuko didn't beat Aang over that OP Avatar state, Z uh, Todoroki fought Midoriya, who has full cowling. And like I said in my last video at the end, that it's he was fighting Midoriya unhinged, <laughs> unholds barred, uh, uncontrolled, one for all. So, and he was taking hits. And when they clashed, his fire against uncontrolled one for all he just left himself his shirt blown off from the heat that he used on his left side that was it he's still standing there going like like he won breathing not injury hurt need to see um the recovery girl nothing just so that was ridiculous but we're gonna get into this fight now and watch that so i'm sorry everyone in probably in the last video when I get there someday in popularity, they're gonna probably be like, wow, you said uh, Zuko can beat Choto Todoroki? You faced all for one. Uncontrolled, like, I know, I know, I said that. So, all right, we're getting this death battle now and see what's going on. Let's go. Sonic the Hedgehog, Archie Comics versus Wally West, DC, The Flash. Man, I don't know if I can get my headphones on. Oh, man. Oh, it's time! Woo! It's time, boys. It's the ultimate sensation on the human body. And today, we're pitting together two of the fastest characters out there. With these two, speed is far more than simply moving fast. Exactly. Wally West, the fastest Flash from DC oh, Comics. And Sonic from Archie Great Comics, the most supersonic Sonic of all the Sonics. Mm -hmm. He's whiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Oh boy, let's go. Wally the West year was first, 1985, and, and the multiverse okay. was in crisis. Infinite Earths were on the brink of total annihilation. But one man could save the day by running really, really, really fast. The Flash. Ah! To save everything and everyone, Barry Allen sacrificed his life. But the Flash wasn't all gone. Barry had a sidekick. You might say a prodigy. Protege. Wally West! Despite the impressive amount of coincidences Barry needed to gain his speed, many others have possessed the powers of the Scarlet Speedster. But for Wally, his own coincidence is unparalleled. 
Let's see. That's President one of the of Flash thing, Fan man. Club, nephew to Flash's girlfriend who introduced him, visited while Flash had a chemical lab set up exactly like it was when he got his powers. Then, just like Barry, Wally got struck by lightning that the knocked him into the chemicals thing, and he boom, watched. <laughs> She's like, I wouldn't say this kid was super lucky, but he did get struck by lightning. The true reason? Because speed force. A dimension of infinite kinetic energy which all Flashes draw their power from. And the DC writer's favorite scapegoat for retcons. With his newfound ability, Wally joined Barry's crime-fighting heroics as Kid Flash. Strong of head and light of heart, he was more than a sidekick. He was a surrogate son. So when Barry went poof, naturally Wally stepped up to be the next Crimson <laughs> Comet himself. As the Flash... Uh, stop doing that. <laughs> Wally obviously possesses incredible speed, easily surpassing that of light. He can run non-stop for multiple days. Forget running. This guy looks at reality and spits in its face before giving it a swirly. Wally can manipulate yeah. each and every one of his molecules to, for instance, survive the inside of a black hole. I Barry agree. even once regenerated from a cloud of gas. I bet he never has any <laughs> trouble with narves. Wally can create tornadoes, toss lightning, and heal from deadly blows. These techniques are rooted in scientific theory and often require a mathematical oh, mindset. Bad. For example, by vibrating his body at very precise frequencies, he can turn invisible, phase through objects, tear things apart while phasing through them, and even enter fourth dimensional space. So wow. you're saying he'd never be able to do any of this if he was dumb? Well, that's exactly what I decided to find out when I laced your beer with cosmic kinetic energy. It'll kick in later. With a touch, uh. Wally can steal <laughs> another speed okay. and use it for himself. Specifically, he can take a person's kinetic energy, instantly stop it. Oh. Oh, wait, why? ...them in their tracks, okay. or even Edit. freezing them for centuries. Even from those who are not linked to the... Wow, he can do that? Oh, boy. ...speed force like Superman. And his infinite mass punch can knock you across the whole planet! Applying the laws of relativity, as Wally's fist approaches light speed, its mass technically grows to an infinite degree, striking with kinetic energy equivalent to a white dwarf star, Ooh, or about okay. 2.6 octillion tons of force. Okay. In fact, increasing the vibrational speed even further the could break the universe. That. The biggest nuke oh, ever tested was 50 megatons. One punch from Wally is like 40 million of those. Even Ooh. more wild, Wally can change his vibration frequencies to affect alien energies that do not exist in his own reality. It's how he helped oh. take out these aliens called quantum mechanics. Oh, okay. Being That's far like beyond any physical dimension and immune to ordinary physics. So, like a prism, Wally changed Superman's heat vision into super space magic to blast them all. All this is absolutely insane to contemplate, but mm, it is important to remember that Wally is somehow still human. And a huge dork. But a fun one, not like Wiz over here. I mean, he got married and has kids, so... Boomstick, I'm married. What? Uh, to my work. And Wally's yeah, to sort my of a work. cosmic lightning rod yeah, rooting yeah, him to yeah, reality yeah. when he time travels. Right? Boomstick, he can time travel. Isn't that fascinating? I feel like you're trying to give me the runaround. <laughs> Speaking of which, that's how he time travels. By running. Should Wally become unmoored, he can outrun the speed force itself even running to the end of reality where the concept of death no longer exists. Oh, One shit. time, he beat these mm. gambler gods in a race across the universe, and uh, they could teleport. To win, Wally achieved trans-time velocity in less than one unit of Planck time, which is so infinitesimal, it is the absolute edge of measurable time itself. Mm. He was so fast, reality does not have any means to calculate or even comprehend his speed. That's f***ing crazy. Wow. But for some reason, Wally still felt unworthy of the Flash Mantle. Come on, man. Look at everything you can do. Until one day, Barry returned. Because Speed Force. To determine the fastest Flash of all, Wally and Barry raced each other. This simple contest nearly tore apart the entire multiverse. But our kid Flash finally let it all out and won. Even with those unimaginable feats, Wally's greatest challenge was proving his worth to himself. He's not just another Flash, he's the fastest being in the multiverse. Dude, as soon as you finish your drink, <laughs> turn yourself in. Compared to got Sonic the Hedgehog, I believe in Sonic. He's got this too. Many, many years from now, Earth will be no All right, more. let's go. Yep. 
Because these hen aliens are going to drop a bomb that kills everyone and transforms all the animals into furries. Welcome to Mobius, homeworld of Sonic Maurice Hedgehog, leader of a guerrilla anthropomorphic freedom fighting group at war with the cybernetic empire of Ivo Robotnik, a.k.a. Dr. Eggman. So, yeah, comic book Sonic is a little different from the video game. While leading his Care Bear Viet Cong in the fight against obesity and male pattern baldness, <laughs> Sonic became a super skilled fighter, and he wasn't doing it for nothing. Robotnik had turned his entire family into robot slaves. Yeah. What a dick. Sonic yeah, that's why I was going to say that, like, eight, man, this I'm like... Fast takes on new meaning. He's quick enough to create tornadoes, cause after images, turn invisible, phase through objects, and boost past light speed in the blink of an eye. Mm -hmm. He can dodge lightning and even move in between the raindrops of a downpour. Look at this! He grabbed water and threw it like a baseball and left <laughs> it point zero 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 zero. See how that is like he's ridiculous! Of zeros in a millisecond. He can run around the entire cosmic interstate in less than a day. That's crazy. And that's a highway that cuts through the multiverse. How does he get that fast on an all chili dog diet? I mean, they give me the runs, but not that way. Uh, he could reverse a black Goliath. hole generator with his momentum alone, which then imploded, somehow sending him 849,000 light years away. Sonic speed is so impressive that right. he can even move through really stop crazy. time. Let me repeat that. Time was frozen, and he could still move. Uh-huh. And real quick. Real quick, we're gonna read that top, uh, top, uh, top uh, side real quick, cause Sonic is OP as frick, and all these feats are just in his super. I mean, I mean, in his base form. Despite being a robotic size m master at the time, it is directly stated that Sonic speed could resist time manipulation. In the con in the Archie community, Wally's robot cannot resist Flashman's stop st uh, time stopper. Sonic was moving even though time was stopped. But I'll let him continue. There is no earthly method of measuring such impossibility. In the words of the comic itself, Sonic's speed is incalculable. I know the RG Sonic comics can get weird, like really weird, but that's just can be crazy. A you call it crazy, I call it chaos. Just like my conception. I'm told. Uh, no, no, no. I mean chaos as in the oh, chaos God. force. Chaos. An extra dimensional field of infinite and omnipotent energy. Mm -hmm. This chaos takes physical form on Mobius in the shape of magical power rings and perfectly hewn emeralds. Yeah. And yeah. Sonic loves collecting those rings. By the time he'd scooped up a billion of them, the really? gods were so impressed they put him in a book of world records and gave him a permanent force field that makes him way tougher than uh -huh. anybody else. Along with shielding his spirit and mind. But that's not all. Yeah. By gathering a large amount of chaos energy, he can transform into the almighty golden Super Sonic. Eat your heart out, Akira Toriyama. <laughs> Super Sonic possesses incredible power. He can use chaos energy for defensive barriers and beams capable of shattering moons. Somehow, he's even faster than before, and he's totally invincible. Yep. Like when he fought the demigod and possible power drink, Enerjack. This guy could rip people apart molecule by molecule. But no dice with Super Sonic. Nope. Like the video games, Sonic's super <laughs> forms have a time limit. And now this limit can even be cut short through overuse of power. However, he battled Enerjack from day into night. So exactly. must be able to naturally... I'm sorry, that's what I got. <laughs> exactly. Super forms in the video games, 50 seconds or 100 rings. After you get, you can get like 200 rings. The stage got to be pretty long for you to do that. And when it hits zero, you're back to normal. Super Sonic... He can, like he said, from noon to night. But we're going to read that top right corner. I'm sorry. I'm so passionate about this. It is re Sonic the Hedgehog is dope as frick. It's, and I'm just I'm just excited that they're finally putting this in action, what he can do from the comics in motion, a.k.a. animation. Anyway, right-hand corner. Super Sonic's extended durability here may be, may be due to his use of the Master Emerald, which is 11 Chaos Emeralds combined. Other indices last a shorter amount of time. Oh, okay. So, see, they're not going to give, they're not being biased. They're not going to say the super form can actually last from, um, from the afternoon to night. So, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. But he hasn't, <laughs> he's got more stuff. Last much longer than the games, potentially over an hour. 
But that's not even his final form. Ooh. If he's got something as good as a Super Emerald around, he can go Ultra. Ultra oh. Sonic appears to possess all of Super Sonic's abilities and then some. Specifically, he can tap into the raw magic of chaos. Yeah, there's a bunch of wizards running around Archie Sonic Land, like this mammoth mogul guy. Turns out they're all using the same time. chaos force. Mm. Ultra Sonic can manipulate matter at an atomic level, changing its fundamental makeup. Turning air to water, moving rocks around, opening portals across space-time, that kind of stuff. But yeah. while he's never changed other living beings before, it's not totally out of the question. Right, dummy? You're correct, Boomstick. Although Ultra Sonic is not as proficient, this ugly monster wizard uses the same chaos magic, and he changed a partial robot rabbit into a full regular rabbit. A sentence so absurd. It likely damaged my internal processor. Mm. Don't worry, it was never great. I took it from a refrigerator. Ultrasonic has altered his own body to better traverse difficult terrain. With all this in mind, he could theoretically be able to change the molecular makeup of others too. Just like this. Yep. Ow. But if changing molecules that. isn't crazy enough, we need to talk about something even crazier. Chaos itself. Chaos uh, magic yeah, is typically used out. for one of three things. Increasing physical ability, providing lost knowledge, and granting wishes. Like a freaking genie. Sonic's wish to reverse brainwashing, turn back time, revive the dead, and even rewrote all reality in his whole multiverse with a Kamehameha chaos beam. Yeah. Okay. If I'm sorry, we're gonna stop right here again. But Sonic did that because Eggman and Dr. Wily, you probably, if you've seen the comic, you've already seen it, but Eggman and Dr. Wily went way too far because they brought over their same realities, Mega Man and Sonic's reality, and Sonic and Mega Man had to stop it. So as you can see, they're both super, and Sonic was like, man, I gotta fix all this. All right, help me out, Mega Man. Chaos Control. We're gonna just have a corner again. Chaos magic has some limits requiring knowledge, takes intense uh, concentration with vague results. Sonic cannot recreate the Super Genesis wave on his own. The time travel does not include methods of previewing past or future events. Ah, oh, okay. Okay. So, on his own, he cannot provide time travel. Well, actually, he did do time travel on his own. He said that a little bit before, but becoming rewriting history or whatever with Supersonic is kind of. Hmm. Well, we'll let him continue. We'll never continue. I'm sorry, I'm getting so excited, I'm shaking. He can literally just wish his problems away. You'd think he'd have way less trouble dealing with a fat ginger named after breakfast food. Yeah. Honestly, <laughs> he rarely did, but Sonic's a glutton for adventure and action. So over the years, he and the good doctor formed an unhealthy codependent relationship. Just like us. Life's not the same without <laughs> his oval-shaped enemy to beat up on. I'm sorry, I had to stop it real quick. If you want to know, if you don't want to know, skip to whatever time I have set to go forward. That comic scared me. Eggman was losing his mind, his marbles. Because unlike um, the video game Eggman and Sonic Boom Eggman, this Eggman in the comics, I don't know, it was far back, I guess, when uh, it happened before the whole rewrite thing of the series and the comics. This Eggman went crazy because he, he got tired of losing the Sonic that he lost his mind. He was like, oh, oh. he was rabbit. Like, you need to put him in a straight jacket. That's how crazy he got. It was, it, it, ew. Sonic called him Ivo instead of Eggman. He's like, yo, Ivo, you cool? But, um, but we're going to read the right corner. Through, uh, through use of power rings, essentially accessible containers of chaos magic, has restored speed previously removed from him, much to Silver Trigon? Huh? What is he? Well, if I let them talk, maybe I wouldn't know. Sorry, everyone. Sorry, I'm sorry. So they're back at it every chance they get. <laughs> Come on, guys, just get a room already. But after being defeated no, so like many that. times, both Eggman and Mogul independently came to the same conclusion. By collecting so many rings and emeralds over the years, Sonic has become a literal embodiment of chaos itself. As in, he's a variable that cannot be accounted for, a wrench in the cogs of reality. Without him even realizing it, fate bends to him. You know you're a badass when the most powerful chaos wizard out there decides the only way to beat you is to just wait until you die of old age. It's ridiculous. It's absurd. It's unexplainable. Mm -hmm. Sonic the freaking Hedgehog. Yes. Oh, I like to hang, but I got, got the juice. juice. Yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if you're watching this right now, 
Sonic is OP as frick. But The Flash is OP as frick as well at what everything he can do, which has me a little worried. But you heard him at the end. Fate bends to Sonic. That's why he always comes out on top. The god in his world, I mean universe, is there in Sonic's corner all the time. So that's why even though if it seems like Sonic's going to lose or if he does lose, he comes back stronger than ever. It's like, it's like my god, there for me. <laughs> if you go against me, you're against him. And I'll come back even if I lose and hit back stronger and harder than ever before. Yeah, man. So, the Flash got a lot of stuff that could mess up Sonic, for real. But, Sonic, he's got super forms. Sonic has great, powerful durability feats. Sonic is OP. Is like I said before, again, is Frick. And Sonic can travel back in time as well, but with chaos power. So, we're going to go ahead and get into this. I hope Sonic comes out on top. That's all I'll say. And I believe in my boy. I believe in him. I believe he can do it. So let's see what happens. All right, the combatants are set. And we've run the data through all possibilities. But first, let me tell you about a phone and provider that's as fast as these guys. Let's go. All right, let's go. Oh. You really think you can Put outrun what? I'm the fastest man alive. Just for a moment. Oh yeah, cherry flavor chump. I'm the fastest thing, thing alive. alive. Seen the preview? Oh, like yeah, in the other huh? video. Want a bite? Huh? Yeah. Careful, Sonic. What's the matter? Don't get caught. Too slow. Same with you, Barry. Oh, West. Wally. Splat. Don't mess, mess with, with the hogs, dogs. Right. Let's get him, Sonic. Let's go. Yeah. Boom. Tell me what you got. Oh, snap. This fight's intense. Oh, boy. Okay. Say, Uncle, flash back. I'm out of your leash. Okay. What in the world? All right. I'm sorry, everybody. I'm going to stop and pause this because it keeps reloading. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it into a video. That way I can continue in the present time so I can be able to uh, watch it completely without it stopping. Thanks for the speed. Oh, what? Oh, that's right. Huh? Super Emerald? I'll show you. Surprise! All right, Super Sonic now. All right, get him, Sonic. Let's go. Taking his, taking his energy. Take that. Yeah, Sonic Multiverse power. Oh, watch it. Whoa. Oh, he's in ultra form already? Come on, Sonic. Oh, boy. This is rough. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on, Sonic. You gotta defeat him now. Yeesh. Okay. This is rough. Sheesh, this is crazy. Blast them back in time. Sheesh. Yeah, Wally West is a aggressive foe. Nice try. But I'm invincible when I'm like this. You've mastered speed, but I've mastered fate. And I wish you gone forever! Come on, Sonic. Chaos control! Sorry, Wait, Wally. Die. Iris, help me now! Uh-oh. Uh, uh, oh, jeez. Huh? Oh, he's going back in time. Oh, before Sonic used that form. Oh, jeez. No way. He won. Wow. He 
what? KO! So that happened. Yeah, uh, what happened exactly? Well, this matchup was incredibly complex. Given their speeds were impossible to calculate, speed alone was, ironically, somewhat of a non-factor in comparison. Sonic in his base form didn't really stand a chance against Wally. Sure, he did seem to survive being launched 849,000 light years into an alien planet by a black hole imploding. However, considering he's been knocked out by far less, black holes are already imploding stars, and it seems some snow also inexplicably survived the trip. It's probably more likely the black hole acted as a sort of wormhole in its last moments and sent Sonic directly there. But if we assume ah. Sonic was indeed blasted through space, mm. a black hole's last moment usually results in an abrupt detonation equivalent to five trillion tons of TNT. Wow, Impressive, really? But the infinite mass punch could still deliver over two quadrillion times more power. Wow. But Sonic's so... super forms were a different mm. story. They had answers to almost all of Wally's -E skills. His chaos energy could replenish stolen speed. He was invincible, and he had friggin' wish powers. Personally, mm. I was expecting the opposite result. Against almost anybody else, Archie's version of Sonic is practically unbeatable. But across a greater percentage of possible scenarios, Wally -E just happens to be the exception. He had every counter he needed, too. The speed steal wouldn't stop Super Sonic, but Wally still got that stolen speed for himself. Super and Ultra Sonic were essentially batteries of unlimited kinetic energy Wally could pull from. Even with their speeds being incalculable, this meant Wally could ensure he was faster. Plus, Wally performed a lot more of those incalculable speed feats than Sonic ever did, so he technically held an experience advantage in that field. Chaos Wish Power would be an insta-win against basically anybody, but Chaos Magic uses physical energy, and guess what? Wally could phase through reality warping energy and jump through time or vibrate to a higher spatial dimension to avoid Sonic altogether. Even though he had no way to take down Sonic's super forms, Wally has proven capable of effortlessly moving and vibrating at top speeds for days on end. So it wasn't too hard for him to just wait out the super forms and strike at the first good opportunity. And when it came to Ultrasonic's ability to alter atomic structures, Wally possessed perfect control over his own individual molecules. But hey, Sonic's the embodiment of chaos. Fate automatically bends to him or whatever. Except Wally has broken fate a few times himself. The best example being when he ran to the end of reality and forced the right, concept of death it itself be to die. Uh, because speed force. Simply put, because... Sonic's hypothesized nature as an anomaly in reality just wasn't enough protection against someone who could also break the rules of reality. And remember, when yeah. Wally raced Barry, their speed almost tore apart the multiverse. Both these characters understandably seem overpowered to an extreme fault. But it's important to remember that in their respective worlds, the story comes first. Sonic was impressive, improbable, inexplainable, but Wally had the power, the counters, and the speed he needed to pull ahead in this absolutely mind-bending battle. <laughs> oh, the drink is kicking in. Ah. Where's... I ran to Jupiter! I'm a god! A speed god! Incredible! Tell me, what cosmic insight have you learned? Just one thing! Well, Sonic didn't know it, the writing was on the wall E! The winner is The Flash. GG. Thanks for watching this episode of Death Battle. Come back next week to see preview. Oh. All right, Winter Soldier versus Red Hood. All right, that's cool. That's cool. Well, everyone, there you have it. Wally West is the best. Beat Sonic. Because you're like, man, he's down about it. Well, yeah, like Sonic's like my childhood hero, dude. It's one of my childhood heroes. Yeah, Sonic has like been one of the, my favorite iconic characters ever since I was a kid. So to see him die, like I know it's death battle, and see him lose, it, it sucks. It, it yeah, I'm a little down about it to be honest. But you know it was a good fight, and I can say just GG, just GG. <laughs> That's all I can say. Good game, GG. That's all I can say. So what did you guys think about this death battle? I know <laughs> not everyone's gonna take it as um as well as I did. 
They didn't like Sonic losing. He's a Sonic fan. So, hey, put down in the comment below what you felt about this death battle. And to let me um, just, just talk about it and see what you guys think. Maybe I'll talk to you guys about it. Just, man. I give Sonic two L's in death battle. If you haven't seen the other death battles, Sonic's been in three so far. Um, and he lost one of them. I won't say who or when. Just, you just gotta look at it for yourself. Look at it for yourself. Go ahead and watch it. Go ahead and watch it. <laughs> Enjoy it. Um, man, this sucks. Man, this sucks. Sonic had so much stuff. He had so much stuff. Wish powers. He wished Wally just like go away, disappear. And it still wasn't enough. What's with the DC writers making the characters they 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 that they, 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 they come from it so OP as freak? Shucks. Golly! Superman! Invincible as frick. Can lift anything. Infinity. That's why Goku ain't gonna ever touch him. Even if he has Ultra Instinct. Sorry, Dragon Ball Z Super Dragon Ball fans. Goku can't win every battle. Until he learns magic, then maybe, just maybe, he could beat Superman. But he doesn't learn no magic. It's all key base. And then, yeah, Wonder Woman. Her speed is ridiculous. And then there's Green Lantern, who's one of the most OP DC characters I can remember, as of now, besides Booster Gold. Since Green Lantern has the will, he can do anything. Basically, <laughs> since he has a super strong will, he can fight and beat anybody. I have to ask you, ladies and gentlemen, what kind of bull frickery is that? Basically, short and quote, if you can, if he can will it, he can do it. If he has the will, he can do it. Imagine anything and beat anybody. He beat Ben 10's most OP, strongest form. Even though I didn't finish the series, maybe when he was a kid, him and Gwen, he, he, he beat that. So, yeah, yeah. And I made my bet with my friends and I lost. Now I have to literally make it up to him, AKA his <laughs> own money. Bet a lot, but I'm just like, bet time again. I'm like, bet, you're gonna lose. Now one of my friends is gonna roast me about him saying Sonic is old news, Sonic is irrelevant to the times we live in now. The Flash is the best. Frick Sonic, and you're a, you're a dummy thinking Sonic was gonna win in the first place. <laughs> but yeah, I lost my bet with my friends. Everyone was against me on this one. <laughs> but like, can you blame me? For real, Sonic had fate manipulation on his side. Basically, like, he could win over anybody. But apparently, not the Flash. So hey, leave a like, subscribe, Let's get to 100 subscribers before um, September is over. Um, let's keep going. And I hope this show what I'm passionate about because maybe we'll do a Kingdom Hearts video as well. Um, oh, I'm going to react to a Black Panther video, AKA this really cool b box guy because rest in peace T'Challa. Rest in peace Chad Chadwick Boseman. He wasn't just the Black Panther. He was Jackie Robinson. He was, um, Ah, dang it. Uh, he was um, James Brown. He was like a kid in high school. Uh, I think I forgot what that high school movie was. I don't think it was Rudy. It was Green Bay. It was it, it was it was a dope movie, but one of the players, spoiler alert, one of the players ended up dying in the end. And that, that got me. I'm like, oh, man. They won for you, man. They won for you, bro. They won for you. I can't remember. Um... But he was more than just the Black Panther. He was just like how people are seeing George Floyd. He was a symbol of black rights and the show that black people matter. Basically, he was like the king of Wakanda. Basically. Like, um, there's other black actors that also can have a highlight that have um, you know, been at the top and show that hey, they they are worth being, you know, have as much praise as Chadwick Boseman or more, but he passed, but he passed away at a young age, very young age, 42, 43, I can't remember, but he was in his 40s and that's pretty young, then he got cancer that young, 
I, I kind of I want to do my research and see how he got that cancer at such a young age. Um, yeah, colon cancer. And the make the make it the make it even better to show that he was really a king. He was always humble and kind to everyone he met. Ch children, adults, like and like just charity, like. He played his role as Wakanda in real life. He was actually a king. And he showed that he was dealing with that kind of stuff without even showing it. And then we find it out when he passes that he had cancer. Or in his last video. Uh, his last video he dropped. And I seen how skinny he is. It's like, yeah, we can see something is wrong. We can see something is wrong. And can't, like, I had family members who died of it. I missed them. But when their time is up, their time is up. And I understand. The memory of them will be always in here. In my heart. And cancer, it'll eat away at you, man. It, it'll take you to the bone. I seen my family members that had it pass. It sucks. It really does. It's awful. And it eats away with you. And, it, and he, she was buff, big. And cancer ate away at him. So, uh, but enough about that. I was just saying I was going to react to react to Javid Bozeman. Um, a video, basically, that I believe the beatbox guy that I'm going to react to, who's pretty cool. Verbal Ace, check out his channel. Um, I'll probably have it right here so you can spell it out in the search bar because he's dope. Check him out. He's really dope. And check out that battle too. Uh, screw Attack. Or Rooster Teeth now? Well, it worked for Rooster Teeth. Just screw Attack. I don't know how it works. Um, so we're going to react to that. And we're going to probably react to something DBZ related. Stay tuned. You'll just know that. It'll be dope. Something different from Death Battle. And also. I should probably start showing, speaking of DBZ, start showing my gameplay of the video games I've been playing. And maybe I'll do a run through of the Kingdom Hearts base game. We'll see. Um, oh, hey, what about Cuphead, man? What about Cuphead? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what about Cuphead, Back of my head. Oh, uh, yeah, finish, finish Cuphead as well. Huh? Um, <laughs> yeah, someday. Huh? Huh? I promise, someday. But everyone, leave a please leave a like, subscribe. Let's get to 100 subscribers before this month is over. Uh, like, share with family who loves Sonic and The Flash. And see my reaction to this. Oh, man, I'm disappointed. Um, but I'll just focus on other stuff and enjoy my day off. Um, so, <laughs> love you guys. Keep being strong. Keep moving forward strong and courageous. And I'll see you in the next video. Stay blessed, everyone. So long. No more being sad. Sorry, everybody. I got a juice.